Hello everyone, this is Just a Dad. Today I'm gonna do a comparison between the Hoover Clean Slate Spot Cleaner and the Kenmore Spotlight Carpet Spot Cleaner. Both of these retail for about $130. Sometimes you can find the Clean Slate on sale for $100 and sometimes the Kenmore is down around $100, but normally they're around $120, $140. Underneath the video, I will put links to them to where you can buy them on Amazon. Okay, so I'm first gonna talk about them, then we're actually gonna go see how each one cleans a stain on some carpet. So they look about the same size, but the Kenmore is bigger. It's got a bigger holding tank as far as the dirty water and a bigger clean water tank. Over here on the Hoover, we can see dirty water tank. It's easy to get on and off. You're gonna take this lid. It's got like an O-ring that holds it on. Then you're gonna empty out the dirty water. You can get in there and kind of rinse that out and clean that out. When you're ready, put that back on. Over here is our clean water. Lift it up. You're going to take this over to the sink. Take that off. Fill it up and put your solution in there. It's got some nice markings. Here's my dirty water tank. You're going to lift this lever. Pull straight up. This comes off at a hinge. You're going to empty out all of this dirty water. You can't get in there and clean it. Put that back in. Push that back so the cover is installed. Sometimes you'd have to kind of wipe that little screen off there. But you can see that's a much bigger holding tank. And it just slides it right in there like that. We got a simple on off button right there. Over here is our big solution tank. We can take it off. You can see it holds a lot of solution. Very easy to fill up. We've got a, a fill cap right here on the top. Take it off and fill it up. When you're ready, put it back on. So the Kenmore does say it's seven amps. And the Clean Slate Hoover, 3.5 amps. Okay, so let's look at the cleaning heads now. This The Kenmore does come with a bigger cleaning head that matches about the size of the Hoover. The Hoover, this is the main one you're gonna use, but it does come with this little crevice tool that you store on board. That you're gonna spray out, scrub here, and then use that part to suck. So we'll try that out. Both of them are relatively easy to get the, the tool on and off. Here's the, Ken, the uh, Kenmore. Again, you're gonna press this button. Very easy to take on and off. Both of them operate the same. They got a button you're gonna press. What, the solution's gonna come out there. You're gonna scrub, and then that's where the suction is right there. Now I can take that little suction area apart and clean that. That's pretty nice. Put those in. And then same with the Hoover. I can take this apart and get that all nice and clean. A little easier to take apart. Both of them store their cords really nice on the machine. Okay, so let's go clean some carpet with them. Okay, so I got some chocolate syrup and some grape jelly. We're gonna see how each one cleans. Got the clean slate and the Kenmore. <laughs> All right, let's spray some solution out. Kenmore probably sprays a little bit nicer. Okay. Okay, so let's see how they're doing. Yeah, they're doing a good job. I'm spraying solution while I'm sucking and cleaning. Go over the grape jelly. Kenmore's doing good. Hoover's doing good. They both feel like they're doing about the same. Grape jelly's being a little stubborn. You gotta really get in there and scrub. Now I'm just doing suction. They both seem like they've got about the same. The Kenmore might have a little bit more suction. Okay, so the Hoover has some uh, hose clean. Let's turn it on. I got the hose clean attachment attached. When I spray that, it's going to direct solution down there and clean that hose. Now I like to take this off and then just let it dry a little bit. The Kenmore, you got to get a cup of water. You're going to take the attachment off and just suck up the water. That's going to clean the hose on the Kenmore. Okay, so let's go empty the dirty water tanks. Here's the Kenmore. You can see it's going to hold a lot more. Here's the clean slate. Let's go empty them out. Okay, so the Kenmore, you're just going to... And this has like a hinge and you're just going to dump it out and then rinse it out. 
the clean slate, there's an O-ring holding this lid on, so you gotta kinda just lift it up. Sometimes that can be a little tricky. Dump it out and rinse it out. Very easy. So the Kenmore is a lot heavier and a little bit bigger. I found the clean slate, it, I think it cleaned a little bit better. I think it had a little bit more suction. Now the Kenmore really shines with this smaller head on. Now the Hoover doesn't have a smaller head. You gotta use that bigger one, which I find that can be a little troublesome sometimes. You know, the solution did spray out of the Kenmore a little bit better, but I thought the clean slate did a good job. I find the clean slate more portable. You know, it's lighter weight, more portable, but if you're doing bigger jobs, you need a bigger holding tank. A lot, this thing holds a lot more clean water solution and the hose is a lot longer. You know, the Kenmore is a great one to do. So I hope this comparison video helps. Underneath the video, if you could give it a thumbs up, I'd really appreciate it. I will put links to the, both of these in the show description notes. I bought both of these with my own money. So if you click on the link, it'll take you to Amazon. If you end up purchasing the product, I will get a commission from the sale. I am an Amazon affiliate. The product won't cost you anymore, but it is a way of supporting my channel. I really appreciate everybody's support. And again, if you could, please like and subscribe. And thank you so much.